Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your January 2018 monthly reading. I have pre-shuffled this deck so if something falls out I'm going to go ahead and use it. I will focus in the camera once I have the cards laid out. This is for the sign of Aries for the month of January 2018. This may not resonate with you because it's not a private reading, okay? This is for a general audience of people. So just take what does and leave the rest. If you want to know more about me, you can watch my Let's Talk sessions. Again, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and this video should not be on anybody else's channel. If you find it there, if you could send me an email and report that video, I would really appreciate it. Happy New Year. This is for the sign of Aries. All right, so we have some absolution here. We have an awakening, an epiphany, a cycle that is needing to end. It feels like many of you have walked away for something from something or you are walking away from something. You know, with that Eight of Cups right next to that Judgment card, I think that in the moon is a cycle that has ended. I think something has happened. The secret is out, okay? The secret is out. And um, now things may be a little chaotic. They may be a little crazy. But, you know, it leads to... Um, it brings you strength, okay? It's going to bring you some strength. Right now, I feel like you're going through a period of, of change. This is a month of change for you. Something is over and, and you know that's all there is to it. We have a completion here. We have several completions as a matter of fact. Um, many of you could be moving or you may have moved on someplace different, completely moved or you're, or you're uh, planning on a move. All right, could be from a job, could be from a home. I see a move, I see a completion. It feels like uh, It's the end is here, okay? The end is here with that Ten of Swords right next to that Death card. I mean, there's major completions here. You have all the Tens, I believe. Hold on. Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. All right, so yeah, you have all the Tens plus the Death card. I mean, there's huge completions here this month, okay? So it's a, a heaviness that you've been carrying around is over. I have a feeling of being defeated, of uh, being in crisis mode is over, okay? A relationship of some sort is done. It's over, okay? It's over. Whether it's, um, you know, a struggle within a relationship or the relationship altogether. I mean, a relationship, something in your family you know, is over, okay? There's a, there's a completion here. There's, I mean, there's <laughs> I mean, if there whatever was a completion, it's here, okay? It's over. It's already happened, okay, for many of you. And this month is dealing with it, dealing with the completion, okay? Now, you know, it's out of your hands. It's already happened, okay? The end has, the secret has come out. The end is here, okay? And now it's time to deal with it. And I have to tell you, it is going to lead to something very beautiful. It's what you've been hoping for. It's going to lead to the ultimate healing, all right? You're going to go through a period of renewal and inspiration and peace of mind, okay? That's what's going to happen. There's going to be, you're going to, you're going to be at peace finally, okay, by the end of January. It's been rough. I think 2017 has been rough, very much so. And this month, it's over, okay? Those tough, tough times are over okay it's happened the secret is out okay and now it's time for you to love yourself it's the ultimate time of love this month okay it's like it's it's time it's time 
um, you know, there's no no more need that you're feeling like <sighs> you don't have the strength to fight anymore. There's no need to fight. There's no need to fight. There's no need to to be a part of it. You know, you you. It's over. <laughs> That's all I can really say is it's over. The rough patch that you've been going through, the cycle that you were going through, the mystery is over. The truth is on the table. The shit has hit the fan. You know what I'm as what I'm saying. The shit is it's over. Okay, now it's time to bring peace and serenity back to your life this month of January. Okay? It's no longer a mystery with that moon card reversed. The unknown is no longer unknown. Alright? It's a time of ultimate love this month. And it's a time of forgiveness. Okay, many of you are going through this epiphany that changes your, your you. Okay, a, there's a change in you this month. Okay, um, wow, this is this is so deep. Okay, you you guys have let go of something really heavy that was burdening you. Okay, very very heavy burden has been let go. Maybe it's an illness. Maybe it's a person. Maybe it's a job. I'm not sure. Something has ended that needed to end. And if it hasn't, it's going to end this month in January. I believe the secret is out. It's time for a fresh start and hopes and wishes are to be fulfilled. Wow. It's just so... I mean, I feel it. I feel it. I feel the energy. Okay, when we have the death card in a reading with all these completions and the judgment card a, and the moon card, a cycle has ended for you that was big. A huge, huge phase of your life is over. And I feel like, you know, the the period of depression, the period of not knowing, the period of... Um, fear is over because now it's on the table, okay? Whatever was being hidden is now on the table, okay? It's out of your hands. It's been said. It's been done. And that brings you, like, peace. That brings you peace. You're no longer carrying it. It's out there. The, the strength that you needed to have, that you've had the last few months, the last three months of... 2017 is no longer needed this month because it's out there okay the secret has been revealed okay it's been revealed the unknown is no longer the unknown um, you know it's no longer an illusion there's no more illusions here it's happening what you've been wishing for what you've been waiting for is happening in January it's happening okay I think many of you are starting a brand new cycle, okay, which is going to bring you a lot of peace. Happy New Year. This is a year of, well, I'm saying year, it's supposed to say month of wish fulfillment, but I said year for a reason. I think that 2018 is going to be a year of wish fulfillment for you all, Aries, as long as you let go of the need to control here you are, I have to tell you, let go of your need to control situations, okay? Try to go with the flow as much as possible, all right? Act out of love in all situations, and you will be at peace if you do that, okay? Remember to let go of anything that no longer serves you at any time, okay? Which you have. I think that many of you have let go of something that was too heavy. You couldn't carry it around anymore. You dropped it. And, the, and it's like the relief is, you know, wow, huge relief here. Right? January is a month of relief. There's no doubt about it. So um, if you're single, if, you, if you're if you single and watching this and you're wondering about love, I feel like, you know, you have a, you're going to have a decision to make regarding love. What you're going to do, you have a choice to make. Are you going to move forward or are you going to stay stuck in the past? When the lover's card right here comes up in a reading, it says, 
be prepared to live with the consequences of your choices. The Seven of Cups is also about consequences. So we have consequences here, okay? For somebody, there's some consequences at play it, if you don't move on, okay? Because the Death card is underneath it, okay? So I'm, I'm saying that if you are still waiting to move on, okay? See, many of you have already done that, okay? If you're still waiting to move on, then there'll be consequences for that. Okay, if you have moved on, you could find a new love. All right, somebody could come in and sweep you right off your feet that isn't your usual type. There could also be a reconciliation with a soulmate. Okay, you could be reconciling with a soulmate, and I have to tell you that that doesn't mean you've even dated them before. When I say reconciliation, this could be somebody that that's a soulmate from a past life, another lifetime. And I just feel like there's definitely a soulmate union here this month for somebody who is watching this. You know, I do feel a lot of intensity here. There's a lot of intense feelings. There could even have been some intense hurt regarding the decision you needed to make to move on to fulfill your wishes. There could have been some pain inflicted in doing that. I feel like um, some of you are dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We also have Aries here. We have um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Gemini. We have Scorpio. I'm just seeing who else we have. We have Pisces. Um, Either way, I see a change, a change in location. Either it's at your job or it's at your home. There's probably somebody who is considering moving physically that's watching this. I feel like once they move, they will be reunited with their ultimate partner. Okay? And, and you know, I have to tell you that if you're holding back, you need to you really need to consider what you're doing. Okay? Consider why you're holding back. Be prepared to live with the consequences if you hold back. If you don't take action, things don't change. And I think many of you are moving forward fearlessly this month in January. You are on a roll and you are headed in the right direction towards love. All right? Towards love. And you're moving away from conflicts. All right? <coughs> It's something you've been waiting for. You've been through a period the last three months of 2017 of restlessness. Restlessness. The unknown, not knowing what was going to happen. Waiting for this to come out. Waiting to spill the beans. <laughs> waiting to move on. Now the holidays are over. Now the time has come. No more fear of the unknown. This is what it is. And because of that, the cycle is ending and you are moving on. You're moving on. Many of you are even moving physically. Um, there could be, there could be, um, it could be a little chaotic. It could be a little bit chaotic. And, you know, you could have belts of depression throughout this change. Because of you, you're thinking about the consequences. Did I make the right decision? What am I leaving behind? Okay, but it's too late. Okay, it's too late because I think during this month, um, and you don't have to worry about the consequences. You know, when I say it's too late, it's not, a, I think that you've made the right decision. Okay, I think you've made the right decision to move on. There's no need to worry about the past any longer. I see that you're letting it go. Keep going. Don't question it. Don't question it. All right, just, just, just go. Do what you need to do. Okay. That's the ultimate love, all right? I've, one cycle is over, okay? And it has to do with a, need, a much needed transformation change that was needed. It needed to happen so that you could be at peace again. So this month is about, is the, is about a cycle. It's a cycle that has ended. It's no longer a mystery. The unknown is now known. No more illusions. No more fear. The ultimate love is here. 
you're headed in the direction of the of the ultimate union. Trust me, you are. If you're single. Oh, there it is. Oh, jeez, we got two of them. I have to give them to you when two fall out like that. It's just the way it is. I mean, that's it'd be unlogical to do anything else. So, you're letting going with the flow is big advice. Go with it. Go with it. If it's time for you to go, go. Forgive yourself. Forgive the other person. Be honest. Be just. Don't just go. Don't even think about it. Just this damn card has come up for everybody just about. Son of a gun. This January must be a, a month of play. It's got to be. It's got to be. This is the fourth time today this card has come up. And I've shuffled and shuffled and shuffled. So January is a month of, of rediscovering yourself, I have to tell you. Play. Beloved one, it's time to set aside work for a while. Don't worry. We will oversee your responsibilities to their completion. And that's what's going on. There's completions all over in this reading. Playfulness, gaiety, and laughter will lift your energy so that you'll return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy. Let yourself go this month. Have some fun. Bring the peace and serenity back to your life that you've been wanting. Don't look back. Don't look back, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Write about your thoughts and feelings. These two are from the Archangel Michael deck. Write about your thoughts and feelings. My prayer. Thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessings, and healing. And that's what needs to happen. The next card from Archangel Michael. Admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. My prayer. I appreciate your support in helping me face my feelings with grace and acceptance so that I can be lovingly honest with myself and others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for giving me courage and strength. Whatever cycle that needs to end, whatever has come out, whatever has been put on the table is going to make you stronger. And I think I said that right at the beginning of the reading. It's going to make you stronger in the end. Just go with it. Don't resist it. And don't look back. There's no more worry. There's no more worry here. Okay? Letting go of the worry. The unknown is no longer the unknown. It's on the table. So Aries, this is what I have for you for January 2018. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. Don't look back. You're headed in the right direction. Talk to you later.